Bulldogs, I'm Moses. And I'm Nicole Burgess, and welcome to the fourth episode of Bulldog News. Hey Bulldogs, I'm Ivan, and I'm here with clubs and activities. Today, we are covering the AVID Club. AVID Club is open for students who are enrolled in an AVID course currently. The club supports the concepts of the course preparing students for college eligibility and success. The club's advisor is Christina Maples, and here is her email if you have any questions about the club. What's your favorite movie? Oh, um, I, have, I have a few, but um, I think probably Tombstone will be my, my favorite movie. Have you ever been to a Horror Nights, like at Knott's Berry Farm or Universal? No, years ago I went to like a Rocky Horror Picture Show, Midnight Showing, but no, but no Knott's, no Knott's Berry Farm. Have you been to a Haunted House? I have been to a Haunted House, yeah. Quite, okay. quite a few Haunted Houses. Thank you. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Spider-Man No Way Home. Have you ever been to anything Halloween themed? Yes. What was it? Six Flags Fright Fest. Mm. What's your favorite movie? Oh I, for oh, I forgot. Now it's Pitch Perfect. Have you ever been to a Horror Nights or a Haunted House? Yes, not Scary Farm when I was 16, and I never want to go back. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Exorcist. Okay, have you ever been to Horror Nights or anything like I that? I have not. No? Okay, cool. Thank you. So ASB actually stands for Associated Student Body. What does that even mean? Like, associate, like who's the student and who's the associate? I'm confused. And where are the bodies? <laughs> what? Let's move on to sports with Sam. Hello, Bulldogs. This is Christian with Sports News. We have our partner Dakota outside interviewing some athletes. So let's see how they knock out of the park with this one. How do you feel about being in your sport your last year in high school? What I'm trying to say is that since this is my it's last so year, I want to live it to the best potential. So, why be sad that this is going to be my last year in high school no in the sport and not be happy about it? Okay. I'm actually really sad because I've only done cheer here for two years at Oak Hills, but I feel like um, even though it hasn't been too long, I've really connected with the people there and the sport. And I feel pretty encouraged and determined to do well considering this is my last chance to like show everyone my skills. So I'm pretty excited for what the season has in store. Okay, now back to you guys. Thanks Dakota for the interviews. And that was Christian with Sports News. Water. It can be found mostly anywhere on the planet and specifically 70% of the earth is water. There's like 352 quintillion gallons of water in the ocean. I can't even spell quintillion. Yeah, and you only can actually live about a week without water, um, so, you know, stay hydrated, folks. Most of our day-to-day -day lives are using water, washing hands, cleaning hair, other stuff. Yeah. Water is super important to the livelihood of others, which is, which segues pretty well into our other topic, student health with Daisy. Hey, hey everyone. everyone, I'm Alex. I'm Daisy, and we're here with Student Health to remind you to drink some water. As redundant as it sounds, it will benefit you in the long run. And go to bed at a reasonable time, not at 1 a.m., like which I totally don't do. And if you feel stressed or overwhelmed by homework or studying, take a break, but don't use your phone. Use that time to grab a snack or take a little walk. On a completely unrelated note, did you know that approximately 2 million middle school and high school students in America vape? Wait, really? Yeah, it's a problem that hasn't been discussed enough. Why hasn't this been mentioned before? Well, people think that vaping is less harmful than smoking cigarettes. Well, they are, aren't they? Well, not really. Vaping may seem less harmful, but you're still inhaling unknown chemicals, and you become more susceptible to lung diseases. And one jewel pod has the same amount of nicotine than in one pack of cigarettes. Wow, I didn't know that. That's interesting. But that's all today for Student Health. Now let's get back to our anchors, Nicole and Moses. You know, I've always wondered what was like the toughest animal on the planet. Well, like, isn't it a crocodile and their ability to not eat for three years? Three years? <laughs> no, it has to be the jaguar because they can mess an animal up. No, wait, what about mountain goats? Those things survive like at crazy heights and they just go on them like it's a pleasant day in the park. Man, these animals are crazy, but it sure does make them special. Oh, the special feature. I almost forgot all about it. Well, let's jump right into that then. How about you? This is my first full year here, but I could definitely say our mentality separates us from everybody else, you know? There's a thin line between cockiness and confidence, you know? We, we know where we stand up here. We know we're the best. Yeah. That's facts. Thank you guys for your time. Um, this is a Bulldog Brotherhood that we have going on. Coach Monica created a great family hood, everything he does for us, the coaches. They're amazing. They have great experience throughout 
all the high desert. They've been everywhere. They go to meetings, everything with colleges. Mm -hmm. So just get experience and we just build from it. All right, that's facts, that's facts. We gonna show them on Thursday. We gonna show it on Thursday, that's facts. Graphic design, we make designs for shirts and posters and stuff like that. And you learn how to use Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and all those different type of Adobe apps. And we use creativity to make designs that would look good on different things like that. And for projects, you could use those designs in other classes. It's very good for people who love to draw, um, who have a good sense of creativity. Ms. Glick is a great teacher. She's super nice and pretty lenient, so like it's easier to get the work done while having fun. You make a lot of friends in this class, and I think it's a very diverse environment. Thank you all for joining us again for Bulldog News. We sure hope you enjoyed this episode and stick around for more episodes in the near future. Or don't stick around. What are we going to do about it? Show you? No, nope. okay. but I do want money. <laughs> Have a great day, Bulldogs.